Blessed day, everyone. Greetings to you in the name of the Father, the Creator, Allah, Yah, yod heh vah Elohim, God in our modern-day word, and in the name of the Son, our Lord, Thoth Melchizedek, our Savior, Jehovah. This is Neophyte DAG bringing you the continuation of the message, Heavenly Signs, before the great sign and the Messiah, the Son of Man, is revealed. In part one, we talked about Luke 21, verse 25, where there are going to be signs in the heavens and on the earth that you need to be aware of. These signs are going to be coming, so you have to be on the lookout for them. They have already started. That's what I pointed out in part one. Now I'm going to show you where they have started and how you can identify them and what part of the timeline you are in right now. These were the seven signs. I'll quickly go over them. First one, solar eclipse. We're going to be two of them. One in August 2017, which occurred already. Another one in April 24. It's on a seven-year time span. This whole sign and the judgment that's involved with it is over a seven-year period. The other one is coronal mass injection, which we call solar flare. That started, the big one started in 2017. It keeps ramping up and it's going to get higher and higher all the way up until 2024. 2022 to 2024 is going to be high level of CMEs and radiations associated with it for those who cannot endure all that heat that's coming from it. The third one is going to be a blue star Kachina. These are two stars that will become visible in our part of the planet our part of the galaxy, and there'll be two of them, one station at the North, North Pole, one station at the South Pole. They're coming back to bring the balance back to the Earth. The Earth is tilted. They're going to bring it back to a level axis, and it's going to, those two are going to change the rotational spin of the planet from anti-clockwise to clockwise. These are going to gradually appear over a seven-year period, they started to appear in 2017. They're very visible now. If you are if you look out in the skies where the sun is and you go on, or you can go on YouTube, there are plenty of people, a couple of people who have been tracking Blue Star Kachina, but it's more visible now. It's going to be more visible in 2022, and it's going, going to run all the way up until 2024. After they're visible, then the visibility will disappear and they'll be replaced by Red Star Kachina. We know it as the Dragon Tail. Some people know it as a destroyer in the Colburn Bible. In uh, pseudepigraphers, it's referred to as the Fairy Conflagations. So that's the Red Star Kachina that will come after the seven year when this has come and disappeared. So in 2024, fully visible, then disappear, replaced by a red star. Fourth one, caused by all of these things that I just mentioned, there are going to be earthquake. The earth is going to heat up, and then it's going to cause earthquake, which in turn will cause volcano. So you'll have an extraordinary amount of earthquake, extraordinary amount of volcanoes as well. We covered those things in part one. Let's jump into the proof. Telling you something, I have to come with receipts. First one, solar eclipse over a seven-year period. This article is from 2016, so I'm not telling you some bad year of duration of this solar eclipse. It's been mentioned, but we just have forgotten over time. X marks the spot. One solar eclipse that went from east to west in 2017, August of 2017, Another one coming in April 2024 is going to go the other direction. So it's going from west to east. And it's going to mark an X across the United States of America. That's going to be the location of the holy city where the X is. And if you notice, that X is overlapping where we recently had that tornado event. So it's, it will span from Missouri, Illinois, and Kentucky, where the tornado was recently. The solar eclipse is marking that X spot. 
First one, 2017. Second one, 2024, the seven year period. Again, take note of the X, mark the spot. That's gonna be a significant location in time to come. Solar flare, they've been flaring up since 2017. The big ones, that's when they started. September 6th was a big one. September 10th was another one. Powerful solar flare, an X9, September 6th, 2017, to kick things off. One of the largest solar flare. Another one fired up a couple of days later, an X8. And in September, they just went off. September 2017, a whole bunch of them fired up after this. That month was busy with solar flares, coronal mass ejections. So that's what kicked things off and it's kept ramping up over the years, which brings us to our time now recently. This was in November, a whole bunch of CMEs all over the place a new cycle of them started. And it's going to ramp up and ramp up quite fast over the next cycle until 2025. So in this article, it's saying the sun is waking up and it's making sure we all know it. So that's why I want you to know what's happening because it is waking up and it's making sure that you know it if you're looking out for it, if you know the signs. That's why I'm bringing these signs to you now. Blue Star Kachina, it's a Hopi native dark skin Hebrew Indian prophecy. No matter what anyone try to tell you, these were Hebrew dark skin Indians native to America. Yes, they were black people. Story of the Blue Star Kachina. I'll just read excerpts from it where I want you to, you know, to kind of get a sense of what's coming. You can read the rest of it on your own. It was told to me that first the blue star Kachina would be seen as dancing. So it's a story, a, mytholo a mythological story, but it's not a myth. This is a fact. It was seen as dancing in the skies, but this event would tell us the end time is very near. That's what the prophecy is telling the dark skinned melanated Indians at that time, who left the story for us at this time. Then the blue star Kachina would physically appear in our heavens, which would mean that we're in the end time. It started to appear in 2017. It's almost at the end of the seven years where it's going to appear. Two more years left for it. The fact is evidence in many customs. Mayan had it, the Egyptians had it, the zodiacs record it. That's why you have the Mayan prophecy of December 21st, 2012. But 2012 is really 2022. Check out my other message. There's a 10 year change in our timeline by the abominable church. The twins will be seen in our northwestern skies. There are two blue planets in our northwestern skies. Do your research and you'll find them. The return of the two stars will be the alarm clock. Here's your alarm clock. The, the alarm clock went off, but I'm bringing you the timing now. There's the alarm clock that will tell you of the new day where a new way of life will come out of it. A new world is coming. The old world will be shattered. It will be destroyed. And a new world of light, spiritual consciousness, will be coming forth. So the old world has to be destroyed. No question asked. It has to be destroyed. The appearance of the twin stars will begin a period of seven years, which will be our final opportunity to change our ways, in other words, to reform, in other words, to repent. Same meaning, repent meaning to change from wickedness and evil and to start following the law of love that the Most High wants us to live to show that we're ready to be co-citizens in this new galactic order that he's introducing us to. If you're warring, filled with hate, not practicing love, materialistic, 
you're not going to make it through. You're going to have to change it. Change your ways. That's what it's telling you to do at this point in time. You have another two more years, but you won't have that long because someone else is going to make sure those two years are very, very eventful for you, which we're going to get to later on. So the time to change is now. Now is the time to change. That seven year is winding down. Only two more left. Not far behind the blue Kachinas will come the purifier, which is the red star Kachina, who will purify the earth. Purify means destroy all the foundation that was built upon wickedness, evil, materialistic, destroying the planet, destroying the food, spraying the sky, poisoning the water, all that. Religion, all the world leaders, the structures they set up, all of that purified, destroyed. On this day, the earth and her creatures and all life will change forever, will be destroyed. You have to show that you're going to be of a spiritual nature, that you have changed from wickedness, from materialistic things, to love. Love your fellow man and woman as you love yourself. Treat the planet with respect. Do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. These changes will be moving with your change. If you're not doing these things, you won't be changing with the planet because that will be gone. So the planet will change forever. So make yourself ready for it. Blue Star Kachina, this was an image taken in 2017 of a comet associated with Blue Star Kachina. This is the narrative on that. February 11, 2017, it appeared. And then the other expected appearance of it is in 2022. It will return. But again, go by the timeline given to us by the Most High. There's a seven-year window for this thing to occur. Now is the time to prepare yourself, not waiting until the last minute. Prepare yourself now for this thing. How you prepare yourself? Practice the law of love. That's going to be the art that create that shield, that protective shield around you. So first, you will be pulled off this planet before these destructions start. That's the arc of love, following the law of love given to us by the Most High. Now we jump into earthquakes. Why are we having so many earthquakes? That's what this article asks. And it's a U.S. government. It's science. Their science journal asking these questions, the U.S. government asking, why so many earthquakes? They know, but they're not going to tell you. It's associated with the coronal mass ejection that is heating up the planet. It's associated with the blue stars that's close to the planet and as well heating up the planet. Does it mean a big one is going to hit? You bet your last dollar it's going to hit, but it's not going to hit until the righteous have time to prepare themselves. That's why you're getting this message now, to prepare yourself. Study says earthquakes are increasing. Yes, they are increasing. But no one is giving you the biblical reasons why and what is coming, what signs there are to play in your life, in preparing yourself. The numbers they're noticeably increased year after year. Since when? 2017. This article was written in 2021. And they're telling you since 2017, earthquakes been increasing year after year. Again, tying into that seven-year window where everything kicked off in 2017. Get yourself ready. This is no joke. Fun and Games times are over. This is the earthquake statistics. And I'm giving it to you so you can look at it yourself. 2021, see how we ramped up to 15,000. And this is only up until November. 
this isn't taking into account all the earthquakes that ruptured over by Oregon recently. So this is at 15,000 so far. It keeps ramping up since 2017. But it's part of the signs given to us in Luke where the earth will be shaken over a seven year period. Volcanoes, that's the other one given to us in Luke. And I paired this up with the third testament, chapter 55, which talks about the purification of the world and humanity in the judgment. And I pull this one out, verse 67 of chapter 55, to let you know, volcanoes will erupt to announce the time of judgment and nature will be agitated and moved. So the volcano is the signal. Are there volcanoes erupting now? Is La Palma erupting? Was that volcano erupting in uh, Switzerland, I believe? Is one erupting in Hawaii? They are to announce the judgment. The judgment comes in two pieces. Th first three and a half of the seven years, that's the mild piece. Then another mild piece in the second half of the other three and a half years. So the first 1.75 mild. Then it ramps up in the last half of the 3.5. So from September 2020 to about the middle of 2022, the mild, then it's going to ramp up thereafter until 2024. That's why I bring you to this article. Get ready for more volcanic eruption as the planet warms. When was this written? 2017 again. Everything started in 2017. That's why we're having so much more volcanic eruption because of the coronal mass ejections. They're telling you, get ready. Now I'm bringing you back the messages. Get even more ready now. Build your ark. Because the earth, the air, the water, the fire, the spirit will be touched by these coronal mass ejections. Brings us again to the eruption statistics. Take a look at this article. Read through it on your own time. But overall, 48 volcanoes continue to erupt as of October 2021. They just continuously erupt all across the planet. They're just erupting. They're not stopping. They're just erupting. They keep erupting and erupting and erupting. Careful and be mindful of the signs. Which brings me to Revelation 12, 12 and John 8, 44. Let's start with Revelation 12, 12. Rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, because in the heavens they know it's the end of this time now. Woe unto those who live on the earth. Earth is America. Look at my other message, which talks about the various names for America. Earth is one of them. Woe, woe means destruction to the inhabitants, those who live on and in North America and the seas. The sea is Europe. When you see sea in the Bible, it's Europe. For Lucifer is come down unto you. He's now here. He has to manifest himself physically now on the planet. Having great wrath, he's upset because he knows his time is short. He was given a short time, the last three and a half of the seven year from 2017 to 2024. He has the last half. His time is short and he knows that. September 24th, 2020 to March 25th, 2024. That's his time. It's window to get all his things done. So he has great wrath. So he has taken over everything now. All your world leaders all your big corporation, all your religions, they have been hijacked and taken over personally by Lucifer and his disciples. Revelation 12, 12 telling you. 
But I'm giving you John 8, verse 44, so you know the people that are coming to you now, they're not who they are. They have transformed themselves from being who they were, these beings of spirit in the fourth dimension. Now they've injected and inserted themselves in physical bodies. And they're going to come to you with all types of things. Beware, beware, beware. Lucifer and his disciples are compulsive liars. John 8, verse 44. You, O disciples of Lucifer, and your father Lucifer, the devil, they are murderers from the beginning. I'm not making this thing up. John 8, verse 44, read it for yourself. That's what he's telling you. Lucifer was a murderer from the beginning and live not in truth because there is no truth in Lucifer. When Lucifer speaks, he speaketh a lie. He speaketh his own lies. He's not getting it from anyone but himself. Nothing related to the Most High is in those words. For Lucifer is a liar and the father of lies. Why am I telling you this? Because John 8, verse 44 is warning you, you're going to be given a whole bunch of lies. You were given lies then, and you're given more lies now. He's in full wrath. So lie mode to the extreme. Lies, lies, lies on top of lies. So watch out, saints. Watch out, elects. Watch out, people of the Most High. Watch out, Israel people of dark skin complexion across the entire planet. Don't be fooled by these folks that are of darkness presenting themselves as light with a whole bunch of lies. If they're not speaking of loving your fellow man and woman, they're of lies. If they're not t telling you to prepare yourself for the coming of the Most High and his messenger, his Messiah, then they're not of the Most High. If they're not telling you to prepare yourself by making your vessel, your body ready to receive that spiritual light that's coming, then they're not of the Most High. They're of this plan of lie that Lucifer is going to be telling you. If they're telling you to rely more on your technology and your pharmaceuticals, then they're not of the Most High. They're of the plan of Lucifer. Because the Most High is telling you now to gain your spiritual, you know, yourself. Go within. Don't you know the kingdom of the Most High is within you? He is within you and you within him. So he wouldn't be sending you to go find out about technology. He'll be sending you within. So if someone is telling you, Rely on technology and AI and we'll save you with those. Not the plan of the Father, the Most High. That's the plan of the liar, Lucifer. If he's telling you, I'm going to give you new pharmaceutical for all kind of viruses that I will be manifesting upon you, don't go for it. Don't rely on it. The most I gave you, Ezekiel 47, 12, and the leaves of the trees shall be your medicine. Do your own research to know which leaves are good. Plenty of information out there being given to you by the dark skin, children of Israel, to cure you of your disease. Which brings me to Luke 21, verse 26, because when these signs are coming, don't panic. Don't take on fear because that's an invitation for Lucifer and his disciples to come in and control you because you're fearful. The Most High did not give you a spirit of fear. He gave you a spirit of love, knowledge and wisdom and of power. So any fear is coming from someone else because when these signs start ramping up, Man's heart will start to fail them, the ones who have fear, who did not prepare themselves, who didn't get this message or did get it and laugh, saying, ha, nothing like that is going to happen. 
and for looking for these calamities. 12 calamities are going to come with these signs. They're the mild one now, but they're going to ramp up when Lucifer gets full control during the second half of three and a half years. So he's going to take control. He has in 2021. He gave you a plague upon the land. Now he's going to step that up in 2022. And these things are coming on the planet, both the ones from heaven, which are the coronal mass ejections, and the ones on earth being manifested to you by Lucifer. The only thing the Most I is sending you is the coronal mass ejections and the volcano and the earthquakes to go with it. Everything else, that's man. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. There's going to be this great sign coming from the heavens, which I'm preparing you for. Because when that sign comes, you don't want to be late for it. That's the bridegroom spoken of in Matthew, the five wise virgin, the five foolish virgin. When the alarm was sound, saying the bridegroom is here, and the ten virgins got up, the five that were wise were able to go join the bridegroom. The bridegroom is this light that's coming. Those who weren't prepared could not join the bridegroom. So I don't want you to be unprepared when that light comes, when the heavens is shaken and release the pillar of lights that are going to come and shine visibly upon the earth to let you know the Most High is here. It's his time to reclaim his righteous seed, which brings me to Luke 21, verse 28. And when those signs, those things begin to occur, these warning signs in Luke 21, 25, when they begin to occur, look up. Look up to the sky. Look up for those visible signs that will come after these signs have occurred. Look up. And lift up your heads, lift up your spiritual consciousness now, so you can be ready for the bridegroom. Turn your thoughts and your action away from physical, earthly, and material things, and turn your thoughts and action to the Most High. Embrace spiritual things. Go within, practice love so the Holy Spirit can guide you and protect you and be that ark around you. And whatever man is planning for you will not affect you. For your redemption, the gathering, when those pillars of light will appear to gather you, draw close. There's going to be pillars of light visible across the entire planet to gather you before it comes make yourself ready turn your thoughts to the most high change those evil ways change from all the materialistic things you've been doing change from all the hate anger fear jealousy all kind of things chasing money change from that because the redemption time, the bridegroom time draws near. This is the timeline of when Lucifer will get his half a times. Because his time won't be fully. It'll be cut short. But I'm just going to present to you his time. Revelation 13 verse 5. Before that. In part one, I gave you all the time leading up to September 23rd, 2020. Go back to part one so you can understand where that's coming from. But Revelation 13, verse 5. And there was given a time for him to speak great wickedness and to exercise his power. And it was given unto him 42 months. 42 months? That is three and a half years. Divide 42 by 12. You get 3.5. He's given 3.5 years to finish 
is grand finale is apt of exercising his wrath. Three and a half years from September 23rd, 2020 brings you up to March 25th, 2024, which ties back into the seven year when all these things are going to occur. Corona mass ejections, solar eclipse, blue star Kachina matches perfectly with the Bible prophecy timeline. 2017 to 2024, seven years. The last three and a half, that's the time of Lucifer. September 23rd, 2020 to March 25th, 2024. These are the things that he's going to do. This is his plan. I don't want this message to run for very long, so I'm going to pause this message right here with his plan. In part three, we're going to cover his plan in detail. But this is his plan. What he's planning on manifesting unto you during the last three and a half years which he has gotten. He has used the first year of that three and a half to prep you with plague upon the land. And now he's going to put the rest of his plan in full swing. But I'll pause here to give you a chance to digest what I've just said and we'll start fresh again in part three. But stand strong, saints. Be strong, the elect. And stay strong, O oh, house of Israel, my dark-skinned, melanated people. The Most High and the Lord will cut time short to save the flesh of the elects.